Hello and welcome to the PC Mission at Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and in the Faster 7 series today, I'm going to show you how to use the piece of software we downloaded in the previous video to also clean out your system registry. Now, the reason I didn't do this with the other video is because I kind of wanted to point out a few things and it didn't want the video to go too long. Now, again, this software known as CCleaner is completely free for personal use and can be downloaded at my website under free downloads. Scroll down to System Cleaners and select CCleaner. And of course, you can Google it as well. I'm not the only one who provides this software. Now, to get it started, let's just go down to the Start button here and select it. We're going to type in CCleaner again so that it comes up on our program list, and we're going to go ahead and select it to open it. Once CCleaner comes up, just go on the left-hand side and select Registry. And at this point, we can scan over all of these files. Uh, basically, these are common, common non-critical files that usually junk up or clog up your registry. And uh, at this point, just select Scan for Issues. It will scan over your entire registry for any kind of inconsistencies or unused file extensions or unused keys and things like that. And after you've actually scanned over all of them, then it's just a matter of selecting Fix Selected Issues. Now at this point, it is going to ask you if you want to back up changes to the registry, and you always want to do this. So go ahead and select Yes, and I usually save it to my documents, so I'm going to go ahead and just keep it right here in my documents library. And I'll go ahead and keep the same, same file name. If you'd like to, you can enter the date and time, but they usually do a good, good job of actually incrementing your file names for you. And then just select Save. And after you've done that, the unused file extension or the uh, basically all the registry issues will come up one by one, and you can scroll through them and look at them. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and select Fix All Issues. It will clean them all out for you, and then select Close. Now, if you had a lot of registry issues on your computer or a lot of these cleaning issues, sometimes cleaning out some of your registry files will cause other registry files to become useless. So it's always a good idea to give it a second scan to make sure that there aren't any other registry issues that also need to be cleaned. So as you can see, there are other ones that showed up on mine. So I'll select Fix Selected Issues again. I will back up my registry again. And then I will go ahead and select Fix All Selected Issues again. Now that's all there is to this video. I wanted to show you how to use the registry cleaner and CCleaner. And again, the reason I didn't do it in the previous video is because I didn't want to, you know, drag it out for you. Now this is an extremely reliable tool. I've had very, very few issues with it causing any kind of problems with your registry. Of course, there is no blanket comfort level I can give you. Uh, playing with your registry is usually not a good idea for most part, but this does a this software has kind of been known for not causing an inadvertent side effects. So if you have any questions, feel free to stop by my website at PCMichiana.com and swing by the support forum. I'll do my best to answer them for you. And as always, leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned. i got a couple more speed tips for you, and uh, hopefully we get you guys running really good. Thanks again.